one time there was uh, a famous guest. All the stories about those magnificent stars, that would have been very embarrassing if I mentioned them. <laughs> The book is called Seducing Celebrities One Meal at a Time, talking with Theo today. And something you mentioned, you you breezed over Joan Rivers for a moment. And I wanted to touch upon it because in that chapter, you help us see her in a different way than what we always think of her as. And the nice thing is, two paragraphs later, you're making us laugh again. The Barbara Streisand, there's a little bit of outrageousness there. Are there any outrageous moments that you didn't include that you thought about including, whether you're gonna name the celebrity or not? I don't like I, I don't mind telling stories or privately telling stories, knowing that it's not gonna go anywhere else. But um, you know, like with Barry Humphrey's Day Medna, there were some things there. I mean, he's gone now, sadly. Um, that would have been very embarrassing if I mentioned them, and I wouldn't. So there's there's got to be a, there's got to be an, a, a a borderline, just like etiquette. If I'm expecting for people to behave a certain way, like one time there was uh, a famous guest, which I won't mention, who was having problems with their daughter, and they were sitting around the table. And they, the phone rang in the middle of dinner and he answered it. He starts screaming on the phone and telling his daughter off. And I just let it, I got up and I said, if you don't mind, take your bloody phone call outside. We're not interested in your private business and how rude of you. Because I don't like people bringing phones into the house. And if so, turn them off. I mean, the inner chatter that goes on with people's minds where they have, they're so distracted with life instead of just being there, being present. Um, I just, you know, with Telly Savalas as well, um, you know, there was, there have been times also with people with days and I, I couldn't tell those stories because firstly, I have to work with them again. And secondly, I don't think it's everybody's business, you know, that would make it, you know. That's why there was a book by uh, that uh, hustler uh, that put out all the stories about those magnificent stars the, uh, of the 40s and, and talked about their, their sexual proclivities. And, and, and I went, someone said, why would you do that to him? Why would you betray your friends that way? And it was, who won? You smash the myth. They spent years creating a myth. And behind it is, you know, in front of it is respectability. But when you start getting there into the nitty gritty, you be, you make those people ordinary. And, and show business is not about being ordinary. And so I try to refrain from telling things that go beyond the norm. I want to be able to see these people later in some time, even though they're gone. I still believe we'll see them on the other side. Uh, that they 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 did more good for me, you know, than than otherwise. Uh, so it's a matter of respect and and keeping someone's dignity there. I don't want you to think of somebody who has spent years perfecting their craft and and leaving us with a lot of things to to appreciate uh, in the future and then decimate it. There's something when you say something negative about another human being, the next time you see them, that human being is going to look different to you because of that criticism. So once again, the book is called Seducing Celebrities One Meal at a Time. And can you please let us know where can we find more? Where can we find you? Website, social media. Where's the where are the best places to find this book? Well, you know, I have the podcast, which I just finished, um, uh, the Lost Treasures, which is on Spotify. That I'm very pleased with because it was about 
because I, in many ways I love being an archaeologist in some way, and that's why I took a lot of the journeys I did. So it really is about the Trojan Horde, the the Mycenaean Horde, and, and where the the uh, Trojan War started. And the third one really is about uh, Ulysses coming home. And so I explored that last year. So I wrote for the last two years. I wrote this four segment podcast. Uh, and I'm now beginning to write another one. Well, we will check out the podcast for sure. And we're going to be looking for the, the book everywhere books are found. We'll see you at Barnes and Nobles at the Grove. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to connect with you and talk to you about family and food and delicious things. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. <laughs> Thank you.